We have the tonnage, we have the bed size. This part requires all 144 inches of our 600 ton press. From 20,000 thick up to quarter inch. We basically like challenges, we like hard parts. When it comes to metal stamping, BAME's the name. BAME is the name. BAME is the name, don't forget it. BAME is the name for quality metal stamping. Our attitude towards customers is they always come first. Whatever it takes to get the customer their parts on time. Fame is the name. How we set ourselves apart, we're gonna kill you with service and engineering. We're gonna come in and help solve the problem. Even if it's not our problem, we're coming in to help you solve a problem. We're a very family-oriented company. We care about our customers. Everybody here is family. Everyone genuinely cares for each other. Everyone takes pride in the work. I love working here. We do more for our customers. If they need something quickly, we'll get it for them. And we have some younger engineers here that are just keep it simple. He doesn't over-engineer things. I'll take a part that the customer wants. I'll run that through our, our fast blank software. I'll use the least amount of steel as possible to create the part which reduces the part price. We've got the in-house talent to be able to work through the prototyping process. We don't have to go outside for that. It gets us to the prototype process quicker. A lot of these people have worked here for more than five, 10 years, so you know you build a real strong relationship. 27 years, sir. I've been here a little bit over 40 years. I like working here, it's a very stable company. Most of us are design engineers or tool builders by trade. Design engineer, I've been here 20 years. 24 years. My father and I built tooling for this company almost 30 years ago. We have all in-house engineering, all in-house tooling. We do all in-house die repair. And I think that gives us an advantage also. We go up to 15 inches in diameter, eight inches deep in the draw at 30,000 thick material. We have uh, from 150 to 600 ton automatics and we have several inline presses up to 400 tons. We have minsters, blisses, and blouse. These are called single hip presses. If you have small volume, we've got approximately six die makers that work in this area. We have the ability to look at many different kinds of parts. We're not afraid of small volume. Bring me your tough parts, we'll make them all day long. I'm responsible for bringing in this raw material to get your product out on time. I bring in about a million five hundred thousand pounds of raw material every month. Fame does do a lot of automotive stamping and a lot of it's bracketry. If you're to tear a dash apart, there's a rod that runs from side to side. They weld all these brackets on for the radio, the glove compartment. We make those kind of brackets, brackets under the engine. We make a lot of parts inside the motor for the oil burner. And we have a lot of mining jobs that we deal with and they have to be, we have to make sure they're perfect. If you're a golfer out there, you'll recognize this. We currently produce this bracket. We make a lot of gas caps for the racing industry. The largest part we make is the housing end cap for a uh, high pressure power washer. We're in the lighting, we do communications, we do vending machines, we do heating and air conditioning. It doesn't matter the industry. We save them money, we keep the cost down, we give them a better quality part. And it has to be a perfect part. A conversion, we can go from casting to a die stamping. If you can do a casting to stamping and save a lot of money, you get to be a hero pretty quick. We have a vice president that likes to say yes to everything. I mean, if, he, if it's a hard part, he brings it back, we sit at a table. By the time he gets around, we figured out how to make that part. Even though we thought he was crazy and there's no way you could make it. Bame's the name. Bame is the name. Bame is the name. Since nobody wants to pay for a tool, how are we going to get this out and, and be competitive? A typical tool can run anywhere from $50,000 to $200,000, depending on the part. This right here is an example of a prox tool. Prox tooling. We call this prox tool building. Because the only thing they own is what's in proximity of their part. It's very unique to BAME. Where you only pay for what touches your part. BAME owns the mother shoe. So all the customer needs to buy are the inserts that go into the tool. Less upfront investment for the customer. We save anywhere from 40 to 60%. And our tooling's also unique because it's guaranteed for life of the project. For the life of the program, unless you do an engineering change, we guarantee that part coming off there is like your PPAP part or your first approval part. We'll never go back to you saying this dissection needs replaced. It's a huge cost saving. All the operators are all responsible for their quality. Every press has a gauge 
and that every hour the operator has to check on this gauge and QC has to. That simple gauge will check the same readings you get on the CMM. We actually do double the work because we want to make sure we get good parts for the customers. What we do for the mining industry is a crop conveyor. In other words, if you see coal, dirt, rocks running on a belt out of a mine or something, they have to run on rollers. And those rollers have end caps on the end with where bearings and seals go in. We make those end caps. They're very precise, drawn parts. At BAME, we have something very unique at the end of our dive. We have a patent on it. It's called a floating cutoff station. And what it does is it allows the punch to pick up and locate on the part. It holds our concentricity. That way the center of the part to the outside of the part is concentric. We can hold concentricity on a part of a total of up to 6,000 total indicator readings. And if you didn't have the floating station, your concentricity on a round part from the bore to the outside diameter could run you up to 15, 20,000. It's happening at 50 strokes a minute, 60 strokes a minute. It's happening every time that press comes down. When we started this project, they, they were using a plastic part. They were hand sanding that part, painting it to make it look like that. A lot of shops in the area said that it could not be made in one piece. That's too deep a draw to do in stainless steel, so we had to come up with a way to get around that. So we went with a deep draw material, and we run it through a robot that brushes lines in it, and we clear coat it. That's how we get to the point of the stainless steel look. The robotic cells are capable of making approximately 14,000 parts per month. Lights out 24 hours a day. They're part of our family too. We save the money from going from plastic to metal. I could sit here and tie up your whole afternoon telling you how great we are, but you're gonna find that out in a 20 to 30 minute tour. So if you can take the time to come out and visit our plant, see what we do firsthand, you won't need me to tell you much after that. Boom, bam, bam. Bohem, boom. Beam, you don't want to say beam. Mr. Bame gets mad about that one. The name is Bame. Bame's the name. Bame is the name. For quality metal stampings.